guys, I'm going to be showing you today on how to crop music within iTunes. I'm going to be using iTunes version 9 on this, and this should work with older versions as well, um, up to a certain extent. So this I'm going to be choosing today to show you for the example is Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas. Okay, so let's say I want to do the first five seconds of a song. So like right here, I want to go to. So you want to memorize the beginning of a part you want to say if you want to memorize, you want this part to there, right here. You have to remember the start time and the finish time. So the first thing you want to do is get, get info by right clicking the song. And you want to click the tab options up here. And then you want to go right down here to start time. Now, your start time, I'm going to, have, for this purpose, I'm going to only do the first five seconds of the song. So I want my start time to be zero. I'm going to start at the beginning. And then I want my second part of the song to start right at, stop at, in five seconds. And click OK. So, okay, there it is. Now, listen to the song and only play for five seconds as you went, you notice. Only for five seconds, as you can see. So that, um, so next to make it permanent, um, you don't have all that, you want to click get him, uh, not get him info, I'm saying right click and say create AAC version. And click it, and you'll have a little thing go down there. So here's a new one. As you can see, it is five seconds long, and here's the original. So now you want to change the old or the, the original copy uh, back to it. So you want to go back to options and just uncheck stop time and start time, if start time is selected. And you want to click OK. And so the song will be complete again. And now this one is only the part you cropped. So as you can see here, you can play it. I play it. Okay, there's the five second one. So next you wanna, that's pretty much it. I mean, you have a copy of the original and the copy of the one you just made. So now if you ever wanna copy it over to like a flash drive or something, just drag it over into there, or something like that, or burn it to a CD by clicking the little burn symbol if you have a CD put in. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, make sure to check out iPhoneHelpSupport.com for more great tutorials and iPhone help. And uh, see you guys later. Bye.